all right folks welcome to yet another video here or oh, in this video we want to talk about you know good relationships so the harvard study which has been carried out for over 80 years and still ongoing has made us know that the the, the most important thing that would make us become happier that would make us become healthier and live longer is good relationships what an interesting finding from the harvard study so then the big question for us now is how can we build these good relationships so now we've known to live longer to to, to be happier to be healthier is good relationships that we need so what is a good relationship and how can we build good relationships to ensure that we are happier that that we are healthier and that we can live longer so first question what is a good relationship you know before i answer that question don't forget to subscribe like share comment you know and then let me know what you think about this video so what is a good relationship now a good relationship is one that adds to your overall well-being so when we say well-being it's just not well-being when it comes to your hurt but well-being when it comes to your hurt and any other aspect of your life your success and all of that so if you are in a relationship that does not add that does not improve your well-being in in terms of your health in terms of your success in terms of any other aspect of life then that is not a good relationship that is probably a toxic relationship that you find yourself in so i would like to share some of the characteristics of a good relationship that has been shown by research that we can use to build good relationships to ensure we are happier healthier and live longer so what are the characteristics of a good relationship the first point is this in a good relationship you respect each other M mind you when i talk about relationship i'm not talking about romantic relationship alone friend family any type of relationship that you find yourself anywhere you are relating with someone that's a relationship so one good characteristic of a good relationship is you respect each other okay respect is very important to every human being no human being wants to be undermined so if you are in a relationship where you are respected and you also respect the other person both of you foster your well-being your happiness and also long life we all want to be respected a relationship where you are respected is a good relationship we have to add respect to our relationships you know to live longer to be happier again in a good relationship there's good communication okay if each of you know how to communicate with your pa partner then you are in a good relationship in a relationship without any communication over very little communication that relationship is definitely going to break down so there should be good communication people should have the freedom to express disagreement to express the ideas in a relationship in a harmonious way and that will be another way of building a good relationship another good relationship characteristic will be there's trust you trust each other how can there be a relationship without trust i mean you wouldn't sleep in a room with someone you don't trust you will make someone come to your room or come to your house when you don't trust a person trust is very important in the relationship many people these days are living in relationships where there's no trust and when they come to me with depression and all of that you see that it's just a relationship that they are living in which has no trust that is what is wicked really making them feel bad and therefore getting depressed so a good relationship there should be trust for each other okay not trust on just one side but trust for each of the partners another characteristic of a good relationship is that you both are honest there's honesty in the relationship so honesty comes from both both ends you have to be honest to your partner in the relationship your partner must also be honest to you if you are living with a partner or you're in a relationship with a partner who is a pathological liar that cannot be trusted you know you call them in the night to check on them they are on the phone you ask them they said oh my phone is on do not disturb that is a mark of a liar a pathological liar someone who cannot be trusted someone who is not honest so honesty is also another trait or characteristic of a good relationship let's talk about the fact that there should be mutual empathy and we talk about empathy we are talking about the fact that your partner should be able to put themselves in your shoes to feel what you are feeling people naturally don't have this kind of trait of empathy the ability to put themselves in your shoes and feel what you are feeling so for example if you have a client who comes in and says that oh my husband has bipolar disorder i want to you know get a divorce i'm like wait a minute 
What if you are the one who had a bipolar disorder? Would you want your husband to divorce you as well? He said, no. I said, cool. So then that is empathy. Put yourselves in your partner's shoes to feel what they are feeling and therefore take appropriate action. So if there's mutual empathy, then that is also a good relationship. There should be mutual kindness. You give kindness, you get kindness back. In as much as you try to be kind to your partner by giving them what you have, giving them your ideas, your time, they should be kind enough with you as well. Give kindness, receive kindness. That will be a good relationship, definitely. You respect each other's boundaries. So, no matter who you are, you have your own boundaries. For example, your boundary can be, don't insult me if I'm in a relationship with you. This boundary has to be respected. If you have a partner who does not respect such a boundary and would rather insult you, then that is not a good relationship but a toxic relationship. So, respecting each other's boundaries can be a good hallmark of a good relationship. Another characteristic of a good relationship would be you are both totally committed to each other. So commitment, it comes in the way you give your time, the way you give your resources, the way you give everything that you have to show your commitment in a relationship. When you are showing commitment to your partner, you deserve to get that commitment back as well. So quite in a relationship, many people are selfish. They want good stuff from you. They don't want to give it back. So being in a committed relationship or being committed and getting commitment back from your partner would also be a way to say that you are in a good relationship. You are both thoughtful of each other. You know, if you have a partner who thinks about you, you think about them as well. Then that is also another hallmark of a good relationship. A partner who doesn't think about, who doesn't care about you or your needs, your, your efforts in life, then that should definitely be a toxic relationship and not a good relationship. Another trait of a good relationship is you can forgive each other. There should be forgiveness because to us human, no matter who you are, the possibility of, you know, offending your partner, even you must say something not really having an intention of offending them, is there. But can that partner forgive? A partner who forgives. We've come to understand forgiveness is a healer. It heals the body in many ways. So if you have a partner who is not forgiving, then that's a toxic relationship. For example, a partner who says, the mere fact that you share the story in a conversation with them makes them angry. They won't forgive you. Maybe they had planned to go already and it's not a story that they cannot forgive, of course. So that is another hallmark of a good relationship. A good relationship will mean that you both show affection towards each other. You give affection, you give love, you deserve to receive love back. If you are giving love all the time and then you are not getting the love back, then that is a toxic relationship that you found yourself in. You know, another characteristic of a good relationship is you consistently appreciate each other. Do you feel appreciated in your relationship? Does your partner appreciate you in a relationship? If you are not appreciated for what you do, for some people, the more you do good stuff for them, they go about trying to destroy you to everybody. Yet they know very well that you do good stuff for them. If you are not being appreciated in a relationship, that is a toxic relationship. Get out of it. Find a good relationship and be in. Okay? So, these are just some of the traits or characters of a good relationship. This is not exhaustive, of course. There are many more. You can find it. You can comment at the comment section. Like, share. I'll see you in the next video.